Okay, so is this a difficult math problem to solve? Well, actually, it is not. It's pretty straightforward, but let's see if you can figure it out. What we have is the square root of a fraction, or 100 over 64. So again, uh, the square root of 100 over 64 is equal to 55 over what number? So the question is, we're looking for this number, this denominator, in this fraction to the right. Now, we do have a multiple choice question here. Let's take a look at our answers. So A is 9, B is 16, C is 26, and D is 44. Now, you don't really need a calculator, but feel free to use one if you think that's going to be the difference in terms of you uh, solving this uh, math problem. But if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through step by step how to solve this uh, math problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here again is our problem, and you can use a calculator, but uh, try not to use a calculator. That's the kind of best way to do these problems. So the square root of 100 over 64 is equal to 55 over what number? Let's take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer here is D, 44. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because you appear to be a certified professional expert in the area of solving a proportion problem. Now, if you um, don't really know what a proportion is in terms of mathematics, probably most of you have heard that word, right? Proportion, hey, something's in proportion or proportionate to something else. Well, that's what we're talking about, and this is a big deal in math, and it's the concept that I'm going to basically be teaching in this video to solve this problem. Now, I'm going to uh, define what a proportion is here in a second, but let's uh, just kind of take a look at this problem, and let's suppose you were facing this on a math test or quiz. What should you do if you don't really uh, understand the problem? You might be saying, hey, Mr. you 2 math man, I totally don't even get this. What should I do? Well, uh, you should take a guess, right? You got a one out of four chance to get the right answer. So for those of you that are still math students or still have to take exams, never ever leave a question blank, right? Um, especially a multiple choice question blank, unless you're going to get penalized for a wrong answer. And that could be the case on some tests like the SAT. But in this situation, you might be like, ah, I don't know, uh, maybe the answer is nine. Well, that is a fantastic guess. Unfortunately, it is wrong. But what you could do if you were allowed to use your calculator is uh, basically take the square root of 100 over 64. You know, maybe you can kind of get someplace with that. You can get some sort of uh, value over here. But um, really, the best approach to solve uh, this particular problem is to just do the math. Now, here again, the answer is D, okay, meaning that 55 over, over 44 is the same thing as the square root of 100 over 64. Now, hopefully some of you could, you know, that are pretty good with fractions say, well, I have uh, the square root of 100 over 64. You know, you could plug in these various numbers down here in the denominator. You'll see that this fraction is equivalent to this fraction. But let's just go ahead and get into the actual mathematics of it. Again, we're gonna be using something called proportions. Okay, now here is our problem, and there's a couple different things going on here. So we have this square root, square root of 100 over 64, and it's equal to this fraction. So the first thing that we want to address is uh, this square root situation, because hey, maybe we can make this problem simpler. So we look at this, um, these numbers in this fraction, 164, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm really good with uh, square roots. I know that the square root of 100 is 10 and the square root of 64 is 8. Well, that is uh, good thinking because we can actually simplify this big thing over here into a much easier um, you know, number. Okay, In other words, we're going to make the problem uh, simpler. So let's go ahead and uh, work on that right now. So the square root of 100 over 64, we need to understand there is a property of square roots. 
So the square root of a uh, fraction we can break up as the individual square roots of the numerator and denominator. Okay, so you need to understand that. So the square root of 100 over 64 is equal to the square root of 100 over the square root of 64. The square root of 100 is 10. The square root of 64 is 8. And so we have this fraction, 10 over 8, which we can reduce down to 5 over 4, right? 2 goes into 10, uh, 5, and 2 goes into 8, 4. All right, so instead of 100, or the square root of 100 over 64, let's replace all this stuff right here with this lovely little fraction right there, 5 over 4. And now this becomes a lot easier to solve. Okay, so instead of this problem right here, again, uh, because we have this knowledge of working with square roots, we can just uh, replace this entire uh, numeric expression, the square root of 100 over uh, 64, as 5 over 4. So this now is our problem. 5 over 4 is equal to 55 over what? So this is a much easier problem to solve. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what to do here because we have this question mark and we're going to get into something called proportions. Okay, now this question mark is maybe kind of bugging some of us, right? You might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, I don't really like question marks. You know, what does this mean? Well, a question mark here is we're looking for some unknown value. We're looking for the correct answer. Now, instead of a question mark, why don't we just replace this question mark with a symbol uh, called a variable in uh, mathematics or algebra like X, right? So um, a variable, again, uh, symbols in mathematics, uh, and I'm talking about algebra here, like X, Y, Z, A, B, uh, C, these things, these are variables. But what is a variable? A variable is just an unknown value, okay? So let's replace this question mark with an X. So now our problem is this, 5 over 4 is equal to 55 over X. And now what we're talking about is a proportion problem. Okay, so what is a proportion? I'm going to go ahead and explain that right now. Okay, so here's our problem, and I keep calling this thing a proportion. So what is a proportion? Well, in uh, very simple terms, a proportion is nothing more than two equal fractions. So here's a fraction, let's say one half, and let's think of a fraction that is equal to the fraction one half, okay? Well, how about a fraction like seven over 14, or three over six, or five over 10, is any number of fractions, but these two fractions are equal, and that is what a proportion is. This fraction is equal to this fraction, and that is our problem. Okay, let's take a look at our problem. We're saying that this fraction is equal to this fraction. Well, in this fraction here, we just don't know the denominator, but it doesn't uh, change the fact that we're saying that this fraction is equal to that fraction. Okay, now what is the thing about proportions that we need to know? Well, when we have a valid proportion, actual proportion, we have a great little property called the cross product. And what that means is when we cross multiply like this way, the cross products are equal. Okay, so in other words here, uh, 2 times 7 is what? Well, 2 times 7 is 14. What's 1 times 14? Well, that's 14. So when you have a proportion, we want to use the cross product, right? We're basically going to cross multiply, and the results of that cross multiplication are going to be equal. All right, so now that we understand the cross product, all we need to do is use some simple algebra to solve this proportion and solve the problem. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your help, and I'm not shy to ask for help because I have a goal. My goal is to reach as many people as I possibly can on YouTube because I basically I think of every single person that watches my videos or subscribe to my channel is like my students. And as a math teacher, I'm happiest when I get as many people as possible in my classroom, okay? But I definitely need your help. And the way you can support this channel, which is all about trying to make math clear and understandable and really trying to encourage people to never give up in terms of learning mathematics. That's a big problem out there. A lot of uh, people struggle in math and they think, you know, they start getting this thinking in their head well, I'm just not smart enough to learn math. You know, uh, you know, I'm just, it's the math's not my thing. I don't get it. Well, don't give up, okay? Math can be challenging, but uh, what you need is encouragement. You need to kind of double down uh, in, you know, in terms of your work ethic, 
But most importantly, you need great math instruction. And that brings me to my next point here. If you look at the links of uh, the description of this video, you'll see um, basically my full main or my most popular full math courses, right? So this is where my best math instruction is going to be. They're very, very comprehensive math courses. So what we're talking about here, proportions, you can find, uh, you know, these uh, topics or the topic of proportions, basic algebra. In my pre-algebra course, I like my algebra course. And if you just want to kind of get back to relearning mathematics, then check out my math skills rebuilder course. And if you just like to study from notes and whatnot, if you like printable things, uh, check out my um, link. I think it's called TC Math Shop. I actually should know that, but you'll see that link in the description. And um, uh, those are links to um, digital resources that you can download or print uh, and pick up a set of math notes. All right, so don't forget to hit that notification bell after you subscribe so you can get my latest videos. And now let's go ahead and finish up this problem because really there's not much to do. So what we're going to apply is the cross product. Okay, we have a proportion. It's one fraction equal to another fraction. So we can use the cross product. So four times 55, we're gonna multiply this way, is what? Well, we're gonna write that right here. So four times 55 is equal to X times five. All right, so this again, is the application of the cross product. Now we're going to solve this simple equation. Okay, now right here, we have four times, oops, I kind of went a little bit too far. So we have uh, four times 55. Now we could uh, do the multiplication and get 220, but don't, uh, uh, don't feel like you always have to multiply. Okay, now you might be saying, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Well, we have four times 55. Let's just think of the, um, problem or the product as four times 55. I'm going to show you a little bit of a reminder here. When you don't have a calculator, you can make your life a lot easier. Okay, so we know that uh, we have this equation 5x is equal to 220. So to solve for x, I would have to divide both sides of the equation by 5. Again, 220 is the same thing as 4 times 55. But let's just uh, solve the equation by dividing both sides of the equation by 5. But here, the numerator, we're just going to leave as 4 times 55. Now, why would I do such a thing? Well, it's going to make our life easier if we don't have a calculator because we have a 5 here. We have a 55 here. And to solve this problem, you know, all we have to do is uh, cross cancel. So in other words, we can just look at this part of the problem. 5 goes into 55. What? 11, right? So if you have you know, basic division skills. You're like, oh yeah, five goes into 55, 11. Well, then the answer is gonna be four times 11, which of course is 44. So when you don't have a calculator, uh, you know, you wanna kind of you know, work as smart and as efficient as possible. And oftentimes it's a good idea not to kind of uh, do, you know, full on multiplication until, you know, you absolutely have to. All right, so hopefully this was an interesting little problem in terms of square roots and proportions. But these are the basic math skills that you need to understand in order to be uh, successful in things like algebra. But uh, never feel bad if you don't understand anything in mathematics. Use this as uh, kind of a, you know, a list, if you will. But like, all right, I don't understand uh, square roots as well as I think uh, or proportions. So it's like making yourself a little math shopping list. All right, I got to pick up some proportion skills and some square root skills, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, hopefully you got something out of this video. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.